I never felt better than I have when I was training down at Bomberitos. I really enjoyed the training. Um, they pretty much had everything over here. Pete, you know, it's the best in the business. And you know, numbers don't lie. Um, I ran my fastest 40. I surprised myself. And so, you know, that's the power of Bummerito. Bomberitos was the best decision I ever made. You know, I came out and had a great combine. I felt like I had all I needed, like, in, in one spot. I feel like this has helped me get to the top of my game and where I want to be as far as speed-wise. Facility and the whole training and field work, weight room work is really second to none. Uh, since I was a rookie, since I came out of college, uh, and the field work has been amazing. Uh, being here, working with Forrest, working with Pete, uh, it's allowed me to really understand uh, kind of what it takes to, you know, be a professional and take care of my body. And work speaks for itself you know a lot of guys come down here in the off season to, to get work done I so feel like I've been pretty successful throughout my years of coming here in the league and so you know I it's, it's hard for me to go anywhere else We're out here and we do all of these ladder drills and all these pulls and all these steps and uh, the bands help, but uh, definitely the footwork is, is number one. The thing that made me come back here was the results and the people in the environment and I just, it's somewhere that you can get better at. As an example of our domination with draft prep, just look at the last three years. Christian Watson comes in as a projected third, fourth rounder in January, has one of the best overall workouts in history for a receiver, fastest receiver over 200 pounds, fastest 20 time ever recorded in NFL history at any position, and gets drafted 34th overall, two picks away from the first. Every single receiver we trained for the 2022 combine ran in the low four threes with Watson even getting in the four twos on many clocks. Bayless Jones moves up the draft boards in a very similar fashion to Watson. And check out the 2023 results. We had the fastest player at five positions. Yaya Diaz was the fastest defensive end, had the highest vertical amongst all defensive ends, dominated the senior bowl, and moved up several rounds in the draft. We also had Will Mallory, who was the fastest tight end and had a great senior bowl. We had Yasir Abdullah, who was the fastest inside linebacker and the only inside linebacker running the four fours, 
had the best broad jump, and was either first or second in every single testing category. Braden Daniels was the fastest offensive guard and was either first or second in every testing category, which is even more remarkable because he ended his college career having shoulder surgery. So not only do we rehab the shoulder and regain all his muscle mass, he had these elite testing numbers. Jason Taylor was the fastest free safety and also finished first or second in every single category. Last couple of years, multiple first rounders, including Tyler Smith, offensive lineman, came into the process in January as a 20 year old possible third rounder. Moves into the first round with his phenomenal workout, which is kind of the story of all our first rounders. We rarely get first rounders rated as first rounders. They come in lower, test freakish, and move into the first round just like Smith. Running back Price runs in the four threes. We had a fastest running back again in 21 with Deion Jackson's 4 3 2. That means we've trained the fastest running back in six out of the last 11 years. We had five tight ends in 2023 that ran in the four, point, four fives or faster, including Elijah Higgins, a 240 pound wide receiver that ran in the low four fours, who they converted to a tight end. We had three defensive linemen running the four fives in 2023, including Derek Parrish, who wasn't even a combine invite, but got drafted. Even look at Ezukama, starts at a different facility and switched to us at the combine to specifically get his testing numbers up. He does just that and moves up three rounds from his earlier projection. Every receiver and cornerback we train ran a sub 4-5 in 2021. Several non-combine guys have gotten drafted based on the results the last two years. Four cornerbacks ran in the four threes or four twos in 21, including arguably the fastest overall with Eccles 428. Last couple of years, multiple tight ends in the four fives, multiple defensive linemen in the four sixes, linebackers in the four fives, four fours. We've even had offensive linemen running the four eights, defensive tackles running the four eights. You know, several top numbers across the board and player after player moves up in the draft because of these results. So compare that to the competition. Some of the best players in, in, in every position, you know, they come here and work out. If you got a clientele list like that, you know, you got to be doing something. Like uh, the staff is uh, phenomenal. The medical, everybody here is family based, family oriented. here for the combine and I don't think there's no better place than this. So I'm gonna keep coming back. I'm gonna keep sending all my friends and guys down here. Got faster, got stronger. The environment's really good, that's why that's kind of why I come down here. I love the guys, I love being around people that they want it as bad as I do. I heard, you know, from a lot of people that Bonarito is like the full course training that you need to be the best of the best. I'm always better than what I started with, that's why I keep coming. definitely 
got stronger, faster. I feel really comfortable here. I feel like he's done a great job of getting my body in the best physical shape it could be. I really feel like they helped me get better. My technique and prepared me for my 40, uh, my bench press, and my shuttles. You know, they did a great job. different people, um, the competitive atmosphere of it, and then uh, you know, just coming out here and you know, just getting good work and stuff, and awesome. You know, college football is, is such a, it takes a, such a toll on your, on your body physically. You know, you're gonna come here and you're gonna get a lot of, a lot of uh, medical done. Everybody here just knows how to train speed. You know, Pete is really known for that. I feel this part of was the best program I could have went to. I'm out here getting it with those guys, and you know, it's pretty much the competition level. It was going to be at the combine, so it was the best opportunity. The medical staff probably helped me the most. I know coming here, 
at a hamstring pull. Um, I feel like they helped me tremendously to have a great NAT at the puncture. Pete and everybody else, so um, without them, this wouldn't be possible right now. With the 22nd pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Rashawn Evans, linebacker, Alabama. I've heard Pete's the best and I want to be a part of it. The arm drills, the, the uh, turnover drills, the overspeed, all of these things being during training uh, have increased my speed threshold even more. Yeah, the weight room here is you know pretty really good. You know, the stretch style is pretty good, the workout plan is really good. I chose Bamarito because, you know, after being at different facilities, I felt like this might be a better fit for me. And uh, it's been working out for me.
Now the Fusion Light system we use aren't just for testing. You know, for example, some younger players want an accurate readout of a 30 or 60 yard sprint, and we have the ability to do that. But the main reason why we use the Fusion Lights is we track all linear splits in training. If we're running a 20 or a 30 on a free sprint in the complex within training, we're tracking the 10-20 split, or we're tracking the 20-30 split. You combine that with our video analysis system, now we can identify which technical drill complexes is working for each player. And that's true customization. Now when it comes to the science, it's a complete collaborative effort between our performance coaches, our medical, and our regeneration team. This consistent system of fully integrating medical into the performance training and vice versa is a huge part of our overall program. If you break down each segment of each motion from a biomechanical and muscle action standpoint, you can identify key training protocols. So it's not recreating the motion in training. You train to enhance the specific muscle action that occurs at each segment of the motion. For example, if a player has a limited range of motion, our medical staff can open up that needed range. Our neuromuscular or MAT therapist can stabilize that new range, and that information immediately goes to our performance staff, and the program has chance to stress and support that specific area. We expand beyond the realm of standard chiropractic. We can do adjustments when necessary, but we get more into the cause of the misalignment. This is why our chiros are highly trained in manual therapy, neurofunctional acupuncture, and dry needling. The chiropractors also give directives to the performance team to stabilize and strengthen the joints that were treated. Muscle activation techniques, or MAT, is a very specific form of neuromuscular therapy. Its main goal is to assess symmetry and to increase range of motion by enhancing muscular contractions by way of manual therapy techniques, isometric, and extremely specific exercises. The medical staff probably helped me the most. I know coming here at a hamstring pull, um, I feel like they helped me tremendously to have a great MAT acupuncture. came in with um, you know extensive rehabilitation on his back. Obviously by the time we got him ready for his pro day, he ended up running a 4-6 with shock to everybody. I've been hearing from other sources that it was a good place to train and also help before he starts and stuff. So that's how I really wanted to focus on my 40.